Well, good afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, I can't believe it. It is already week number four in the NFL. Tonight, we got a, it's a, not a great game, but we got a game playing tonight. And so, there's football we gonna watch. We are going to watch. And it's kind of crazy um, to think right now the Cowboys are two and one. What a difference a year makes. We've lost some. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the music. We, we've lost some players, but we've been able to adapt and overcome um, the circumstances of losing Lyle Collins, of losing Demarcus Lawrence and Randy Gregory for a game, and Donovan Wilson, um, losing player after player, but finding these no-name per se guys that have stepped in and played so well. You've got to feel good as a Dallas Cowboy fan right now at what we're getting. We're not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. we got some things we got to figure out. You know, there's Tyler Badish is, is struggling a bit there in the middle. We've been dealing with a lot of cases of COVID, and we definitely need to get that under control because we don't want that to derail our season either. Um, and we've had a few calls where it didn't come back to bite us, but, you know, clock management issues and some crazy special teams play, so to speak. So we've got lots of things to work on, but we've got some great things to start off the season with. And if we can get a victory on Sunday, and I invite you, please, if you haven't checked out our game day live streams, please just check, just check out one. I guarantee you'll be hooked. Um, we cover not just the Dallas Cowboys. We cover, you know, everything that's going on. I, I, I bit the bullet. I got direct TV. This Sunday, it's going to be insane because we have the Cowboys, the Eagles, the Giants, and Washington. All four of those games are all going off at the same time. They're all 1 o'clock games, and we will keep you up to speed with all those with my buddy Rio, who is a Washington football fan. He'll be here. The stinking New York Giant fan will be here. We'll have to, we're will have to. we going to have to have a couple extra cameras out here. I'm, in fact, I'm going to take my cameras from the inside because we don't want to miss any of those guys melting down. And we'll, of course, have our Philly cam, and we'll keep up with him to see if he actually melts down. And, of course, we have our me in case the Cowboys lose and I melt down. So we're going to be trying to do something that I don't think anybody has done before. An NFC East complete whew, game day live stream. We're going to have fun. We are going to have fun, and I can guarantee you somebody's going to melt down. So for us, right now we're hearing about, oh, the Cowboys offense versus that Carolina defense. That Carolina defense, you listen to them, and you think that they are the 85 Bears. That, oh my God, you know, and you look at the numbers, they are second in points in scoring defense, number two, and number one in yardage. They're number two in scoring defense and number one in yardage? Let me say. Oh, I see it, I see it again. You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Yeah. Let us straight. Run him up. This is what he does. This is what he does. Well, there is perception and then there's reality. You can believe that something is one way because that's the way it seems. The reality may be something totally different. And Dan Orlowski last year actually let us in on the, the little secret that you can play with numbers to prove anything that you want. And, and I'm not going to say that the numbers are skewed. The numbers are the, the numbers. They are the number two scoring defense in the NFL and the number one in yardage. I, I can't, and, and everybody's had the same number of games. But not all games are equal because there's a difference if you're playing, let's say, um, the Jets versus um, Tampa Bay. Clearly, your numbers are going to be a lot better against the Jets with a rookie quarterback than against Tom Brady and the weapons he has in Tampa Bay. So it's kind of hard to really get this. And this is where I say you don't know really what teams are until really about middle of October as it really starts to lay out. 
And here's the thing, uh, and this is a, a great article that I was reading uh, from the boys at Pro Football Skip Pro Football Focus. Their rankings on defenses, and let me read the first paragraph here. The undefeated Carolina Panthers are one of several teams fielding a top-tier defense early on in this 2021 season. Joining the Denver Broncos and the Los Angeles Rams, last year's number one unit. But while some defenses are coming up, others are sliding down the charts with the Pittsburgh Steelers and Tampa Bay Buccaneers among the most notable fallers. So, we're saying that the Denver Broncos and the Panthers right now have the best ranked offenses. I mean defenses. Which is true. But but here's the thing. Let's take a look at who the Broncos faced. The Jets, the Jaguars, and the Giants. Not saying that the defense isn't really good. They are. But you look at all three of those teams, they're probably the worst three teams in offense in the NFL. So what we really can say is, yeah, they're ranked up there, but you really don't know what they are. I don't know that the Denver Broncos are going to win a whole lot more games on that, you know, with that team because they're not going to be facing teams that are that bad. When they start facing San Diego, when they start facing the Raiders, when they start race facing Kansas City, I can guarantee you the numbers are going to be a lot worse than facing those guys. So their division is actually pretty tough and will get worse. Now, back to Carolina. Carolina, who has the number two scoring defense and the number one um, yardage defense. They played the Jets, who has Zach Wilson, rookie starter, his very first game. And Michael Carter, who I don't think has had 100 yards rushing total. You've got to figure that the Jets, who aren't scoring points right now against anybody, that that really wasn't even a challenge. You, you probably would have gotten a bigger fight from some college teams. The Jets are the worst offense in the football, in football. They're 32nd in points and 30th in yards. And understand, every bit of yardage they've been getting is all garbage time. Then they faced New Orleans, who have been living out of a hotel, who looked great, looked great against Green Bay, and then turned around and looked terrible, of course, against Carolina, and then looked pretty good against New England. Still don't know what kind of team New Orleans is. But keep in mind that New Orleans, Jameis Winston has less than 400 yards passing. Dak Prescott had more yards passing in the first game than Jameis Winston has had this whole season. And Alvin Kamara. Now, that's a good running back. So you got possibly one good team there. Then you got the Houston Texans. Not with Deshaun Watson, mind you. With David Mills. David Mills and Mark Ingram, who's past his prime. Not exactly great test for a defense. I'm not saying that, that Carolina's defense isn't good. They, they are very good. But let's pump the brakes on thinking that they are just unbelievable in this great, great defense. Sorry. If I'm going to say I'm going to put Dak Prescott out instead of Zach Wilson, then I'm going to put Zeke Elliott and Tony Pollard out there instead of Michael Carter, that I'm going to put, you know, um, Amari Cooper cd lamb out there in our offensive line i guarantee you that that defense won't look like the number one defense in football a lot of it depends on who you're facing i ain't mad at them because they took care of business against teams uh that were put in front of you which is the number one thing that you must do in football but i'm not ready to say that they're a great defense just yet Let's see how they do with NFL quarterbacks and NFL running backs. So, with that being said, uh, you feel free to say that, you know, I am that. Oops. 
Feel free to say that I am that. What an idiot! Yeah, that guy. What an idiot! That's right. I am, in fact, an idiot. But you know what? I'm an adorable idiot. And I appreciate you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. I will see you guys later. Our coach here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. <laughs> oh, big run! Oh, he fumbled. Oh, he fumbled. Oh, shit. He's still going. Oh, he's 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 going.